So Cheryl, thank you so much for participating in our Agilates Challenge Trial. So can you give us a short introduction about yourself and what you do? Yep. Uh, well, my name's Cheryl. Uh, I work in the physio department in Allied Health at the Headland Health Campus, and I've been here about 18 years. Um, all the children have flown the nest, and my husband and I are still here. Mm, wow. So how did you first hear about the Gilead's X-ray Vision Smart Glasses solution? Well, I have good communication with a lot of the staff here, and I was talking to Anna. She's a wound nurse and outpatients. I do see her occasionally when I need to, and this just sounded amazing. So we just had a good discussion on it. Mm -hmm. That's good. So what were your initial thoughts, right, before using this shared virtual model of care with the specialists from Royal Perth Hospital and the nurses at Headland Health Campus? Well, first of all, I have had telehealth done before, and it's good for what it is, but this product is uh, amazing. Um, I wouldn't think that the doctors would be able, and the specialists in Perth, and surgeons would be able to look right into that wound and magnify it and see it as they do. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, I thought it was an amazing idea and the initiative that you had behind it was just yeah. mind blowing. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, I want to be in on this. So they asked if my husband, Drew, could participate because he has um, chronic foot problems and he sees um, Anna quite more frequently. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, I'd love to be a guinea pig. <laughs> well, thanks for being so brave to try our new technology. And uh, you remember we talked about when you were young as a ballerina, you were on your tippy toes a lot. Yep. So that and you sort of got used to the pain. So when one of your toes actually started turning purple and swollen and even a bit crusty, did you notice or feel any pain at all? Um, yeah, I noticed the pain, but I'd been living with it forever. So it was just something that um, I continued doing. Mm. You just keep on working despite the pain. Yeah, mm. put a Band-Aid on it. Yes, I know sometimes, you know, we tend to get so busy with work that we forgot to look after ourselves. Mm. So how long did you actually have that, you know, wonky toe before this immediate treatment uh, via X-ray vision? Well, I've had it like forever. Mm, wow, and, so it's long, many, um, many years. Yeah, and when I heard people talking about this project, mm. I thought this, this is going to be eye-opening. Mm, that's great. So without X-ray vision, how long do you think you have to wait to see a GP, to get a referral, and then wait again to see a specialist or sometimes even multi-specialist? Yeah. Well, especially living up here in the in the regionals and the remote, um, to get a doctor's appointment sometimes can take four to six weeks. Mm. Um, it's like, um, and when you get to see a doctor, you really see him about what I thought were more important issues. Mm. And the same with like going to ED, it's for more important issues. And ED is usually full of very overworked staff mm. and a lot of the people that are there are looking for prescriptions or sick notes because they can't get in to see a doctor. Mm. So to, to um, actually see a specialist like, like that I thought was mm. amazing. It's usually mm. up here you're waiting months for the appointment then months once you see the, the doctor or the surgeon in outpatients before you even get your name on a specialist list. Mm. So it, I reckon it's amazing. Yes. Actually, you you are so fortunate, Cheryl. You were one of those who had VIP treatment because was, we had yes. the head of acute access and we also had the head of podiatry, a very experienced specialist um, coming in at the same time. So oh, to actually look at your to toe. To have that level of staff yes. that I could talk to and they could talk to me and they could see firsthand up close what was happening. And the nurse that was there, Anna, she was just brilliant. She explained mm. everything to me. 
Yes, that's really good because in the past, you know, with the current telehealth system, it's a TV stuck on the wall and it's so far away, there's no way the nurses could bring your feet to the TV to show the doctor. And People, often they end up having to, you know, take out their personal phone, take a photo, send it to the doctor's personal phone. Yep. And that, that becomes a problem, you know, in terms of the patient uh, data privacy. So oh, it's good on money and, mm. and timing because mm. it was right on, right there. Mm. Yeah. And I'm, I just really thought that this has to go on. It has to happen. Mm, that's really good. So imagine without this prompt treatment, what do you think would happen to your toe and how would that affect your daily life? Um, I think I'd still be sitting on my behind, um, patching it up when it got sore and that one day I'd have a very big issue because I am diabetic. Mm. Um, I am aware of, of my diabetes, mm. but I didn't think that that little toe would ever mean that maybe I could lose my toe, mm. my foot. And it's just mm. made me so aware mm. how much we need to care for ourselves. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So what improvements have you uh, noticed in your toe or even your feet or your balance since the treatment? Well, my husband said I'm not as much as a nasty pasty. <laughs> It's, it's easier to get up in the mornings and, and go for a walk. Yes. I'm walking a lot easier, a lot yes. further. Mm. My balance has been so much better mm. because um, it's usually just a pain to stand at the sink and, and, and do the dishes. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. really been helpful in my, my daily routine. Mm. Yeah, that's great. So how would you describe your overall experience using X-ray vision, you know, in a couple of words? Oh, brilliant. Mm -hmm. brilliant. <laughs> well, thanks so much. So is there any advice you would give to remote patients and even clinicians considering this innovative shared virtual model of care? Absolutely. I suggest that they visit someone and discuss the issues that they have and if they need this sort of um, consulting that it's available to them. Mm. I actually work in the physio department here at the hospital and um, I've been chatting to the physios about it and they say, we want one. There should mm. be one in every ED, even, mm. even local. It's an amazing mm. product. Yes, I know the EDs have been asking for it for, for a long time. Uh, that's, that's magnificent. And thank you so much, Cheryl, for your no, time. Thank you. Thank you I think we want to take this opportunity to also thank um, Dr. Femi, uh, Olu, uh, Femi Oshi, uh, and also uh, Ankara uh, Westphal from Royal Perth Hospital, as well as uh, Anna uh, Steele and also um, Robin Winkler from Headland Health Campus which is also led by Dr. Chris Payton. So yes, we thank do you. Have, we do have great staff here. Yes, yes. I think it's been such a marvellous journey as well. I really enjoy talking to the patients, you know, hearing your stories and seeing how we can make X-ray vision better for all those living in uh, rural and uh, regional areas. Thank you. Thanks so I much, Cheryl. I hope Cheryl. everything goes well for you because we need it. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, bye.